here are the top 10 reasons why Beth Kleinman is the best principal. You make the most incredible jam that you give us every year for Christmas. You provide comic relief for staff and students alike. You're always willing to drop everything to help with whatever we need. You always encourage creativity and positive attitudes. You have a kind and caring heart and it's because of you that we have a strong Fraser family. You encourage everyone to put their family first. You are a really fast hall walker. Uh, number three, your dedication to your profession inspires us. Number two, you support our wild and crazy ideas. Wink, wink. wink. Number one, uh, finally, you are the only principal I have ever had. Congratulations, best wishes. Her quiet mind deliberated with her gentle heart and a path was decided. She embraced peace as she anticipated the plan for she knew the one who walked before her. Her only goal to see him through each obstacle. With each step she took towards, towards him, a shadow was cast on each obstacle. Her vision cleared, her strength renewed, and her light shone even brighter. Metamorphosis. And now another sits in her seat, her loving eyes and, uh, excuse me, her loving eyes and willing heart. Hi Beth, thank you so much for all that you've done for me this year for the transition from one school to another. It's been a great year of learning for me and I very much appreciate all the help that you've given me. Best of luck in your retirement. Hi, Mrs. Mon. Um, I'm Kathy Moyers, and I just also would love to thank you very much for having me here at Frazier. I I love being here. I love the children, and you are also um, a teacher for uh, three of my daughters who think you're the greatest. And I appreciate you being their teacher as well, and being our wonderful principal. Thank you. Well, I've been at Fraser for three years now, and it's very clear that Beth has established a great atmosphere, which is shown by the positive environment here. And um, she just expects everyone to be caring to one another and show good character. And she's going to be leaving a legacy, and she will be missed. Um, hi, Beth. Congratulations on your retirement. Um, I hope that you find peace in this time. I just want to say thank you for hiring me thank you for putting up with me and my messy classroom and enjoy your retirement thank you Beth we're so happy that you have found Jerry and can spend this retirement with him and we just pray God's blessing as you begin this new journey more sad for us but happy for you thanks for all you've done for us hi Beth I just wanted to say thank you for letting me stay on staff here even after I wrecked your car. Smashed right into it, right in front of all the parent pickup line. It was the best year and maybe my worst year working here because everybody thought that I was a rock star. Enjoy your retirement. Hi Beth, you've been a wonderful leader and principal to us. We wish you all the best luck and have a fabulous retirement with your family and come back to visit us soon. Okay. Hi, Beth. You know how when you say at staff meetings, are you with me? And we have to pause and wait because some of us are talking. Well, in your retirement, trust me, we're with you and we wish you all the best and we hope you have a great time. Hi, Beth. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me. It's been a wonderful few years together, and I have great memories from when we were together at Avondale, too. And I also wanted to thank you for, why, why am I going to cry? This is terrible. Thank you for everything you've done for my kids and my family, and we're going to miss you a lot. Thanks. Hi, Beth. This is Trisha. I just want to say how much I've enjoyed working with you. You've been my only principal here in Plain, so it's been wonderful having you here to guide me and help me as I've grown as a teacher. I'm going to miss you so much, just your sense of humor and your big heart and all that you've done for us and the kids. So I love you. Good luck with the next step in your journey. All right, Beth, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Um, it's just been great having Kai here and just such a safe environment. Um, just such an understanding, warm person. You just, you know, we're gonna miss you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much for everything. Mrs. Mon, from day one, you have been such an inspiration and awesome mentor. You made us feel so comfortable when we came 
and you're just amazing. From the prayers at the beginning of each school year to the extra hugs and support throughout the year. We all love you. And I have brought some little students here with me to share what they especially like about you. You're smart because you run the school. You are amazing. You are amazing. She is kind. You are sweet. You are super nice. So from the words of the young people that will soon run our school, you're amazing, super, and so smart because you run everything. Have a great retirement. We'll miss you. Hey, Beth. Um, I'm sad that you're leaving, Frazier. I remember a church service that talked about leaving your legacy. You have truly, truly left your legacy at Frazier. Um, I know you, and if anybody can make the best out of retirement, that will be you. You've done your, your best at everything you've ever done. So good luck. Hope to see you back here visiting. Hi, Beth. Um, sad to see you go, but I think that you are going to enjoy that time, those time with your grandkids, and I think that you're going to have um, a fabulous time. I haven't known you very long. I've only known you for part of this year, but you've already left a huge impact on my life, and I want to thank you for kind of getting me on the right track and, and really providing some good feedback to me. So we love you here at Frazier and can't wait to see you visit and you're going to have a great time. Thanks for all you do. Shortly after learning of Beth's retirement, I caught her in a brief sedentary moment and I said, you know, Beth, it's really going to be hard. And she said, I know, but I'll keep busy with the grandkids. And I interrupted her and I said, no, Beth, I mean for me. And I think that pretty much sums it up for all of us around here. Beth, you will be missed. You've done incredible things in this building for both students and staff alike, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you. May God continue to bless you, and happy retirement. Hi, Beth. I just wanted to say um, thank you very much for welcoming me into your Fraser home this year. Although I haven't had the chance to work with you for very long, I feel blessed to have had this opportunity to learn and grow under your care. I just want to wish you an amazing retirement and a happy and healthy future. Um, it's always kind of a mixed emotion time of the year when you see that um, some of the great leaders that we have in our district uh, decide that they're going to take uh, a different route. And I'm very happy for you because I know this is something that you want and I know that you and Jerry are going to have an enjoyable retirement together. But just wanted to wish you the best and uh, make sure you come back and visit us because uh, you'll be missed here greatly by everyone. Good luck. Congratulations, Beth. Um, I'm really going to miss you. It's been so nice working with you for the last few years. You're such a special person, and we are really going to miss having your presence and all of the warmth that you bring um, to Fraser and just the district as a whole. So thank you so much for everything that you've done. It's been so great learning from you and your passion for education. So. Um, I wish you all the best in your future. Congratulations. This is a hard message to give to you as you're retiring from playing local schools. I just want to thank you for everything you've done uh, for me personally, helped me grow and in, in my career all the way uh, back to my days at Pleasant View School for the Arts when you were an assessment uh, consultant. So I'm really going to miss you. Um, I'm going to miss your smile, uh, your comments, your guidance um, as you have led Frazier for the last 16 years. It's been an amazing journey. Uh, you are going to be greatly missed. Um, you are everything that's right about playing local. So I wish you all the best. I hope that you enjoy many, many years uh, with you and, and Jerry and your family. And hopefully you always come back and see us. But you'll forever be an eagle. And hopefully uh, if I need some guidance and support down the road, I can call on you. So again, thanks so much. Um, and I love you. Beth, congratulations on your retirement. I hope you and Jerry have an amazing couple decades here in retirement. Just wanted to thank you for everything you've done in Plain Local. Uh, it's my 21st year in education, and I've worked with a lot of great administrators, but I can honestly say no one cares about kids more than you have. Uh, it's, you're just a very special person who's made a big impact on a lot of children's lives. Thank you for all you've done, and take care. 
Beth, you have been a blessing from day one. Uh, just appreciate your leadership. Appreciate your positive encouragement that you just continue to give me. Um, uh, you've been awesome. Uh, many blessings to you and Jerry. Uh, next chapter of your life. Fun part for me is I'll get to see you as uh, grandma for Kaylin and Elena. And uh, just look forward to hearing about all the adventures that uh, you and Jerry had out on. So uh, thank you so much, Beth. And, uh, and best of luck to you. Hi, Beth. I'm going to use cue cards to help with your retirement send off to you. First of all, speak softly and carry a big stick. And yes, this is our friend's stick that he liked to play with at recess. Next, don't forget to smell the roses. A woman is like a tea bag. You will never know how strong it is until it's in hot water. You know you're ready for retirement when you think you're getting lucky when you find your car in the parking lot. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Every child is left behind, but they still are buried in your heart. So let the recess begin. And Beth, you know you've always been the brightest crayon in our crayon box. You've been the corner pieces of our jigsaw puzzle, our rock, and the best leader a staff could ever wish for. Enjoy your retirement, Beth. I love you, Annette. Congratulations, Beth, on your retirement. We are very happy for you. I just want to say thank you for being such a great mentor to me. I hope you enjoy retirement with Mr. Mon. Congratulations again. Hi, Beth. Um, there are so many things to say to you and so many things to thank you for. You are an amazing educator and even a better person. So many years ago, you took over Frazier in a struggling building and you turned it into the gem of Plain Local. We've watched what you've done with the building and the families and the kids and turned that building into a place where there's love and hope and accomplishments for all. And I knew even back then, if I was ever blessed enough to have children, I would want to put them in your hands. And you have been so wonderful with my boys for the last five years. There's never enough ways to say thank you for what you've done for my kids and for what you've done for all of us. And the A-Team will never quite be the same without you because you've encouraged us, you've made us stronger, and you've made us make sure we're always thinking about the kids and what's right for them. So I wish you and Jerry all the best. Please don't be a stranger. I love you, you take care, and thank you so much for everything. It just seems like yesterday that you and I showed up at the same time for an interview at Day Elementary School. Um, and now we're getting to the end of our careers and you're at the end of your career and I wish you the best of luck and enjoy um, your time, uh, you and Jerry. I uh, will miss you, bye. Hi Beth. Hey, congratulations on a phenomenal career. Uh, all the parents and kids and teachers that you've impacted uh, goes beyond words, but there are two kids that you have impacted more than, than you'll know. Uh, Madeline Parent and Bo Parent, uh, my, my wife and I will be eternally grateful to you for the love, support, caring that you showed my kids, that you grew them and nurtured them and took care of them through their elementary years. For that, we are eternally grateful. Congratulations on a fantastic career and bless you going forward. 
Well, Beth, they told us you were making. They were making a video to congratulate you on a wonderful body of work, and I wanted to get right over here, be one of the first people actually in line, uh, because I'm so excited for you, and I just want to congratulate you on such a wonderful, wonderful life that you've given to so many kids and the great works that you've done. You've truly been the heart of our elementary team for quite some time here, ever since I joined it. Your caring and passion for the kids has been immensely appreciated on my end. I, I'm again then so thankful that you're going to get to go enjoy your time because you've given so much to so many kids and so many families. It's time for you and Jerry to enjoy. I wish you nothing but the best, Beth. It's been wonderful working with you. Please come and visit us. Take care. Hey, Beth. Hey, it's Tom Brabson. Hey, I've talked to you before about how much we're going to miss you. Um, so many nice things uh, I could say about you, but um, your love and care for the students at Plain Local Schools will never be forgotten or matched. And I guess the best thing I can tell you, Beth, is that if I had children, I would certainly want you to be their principal. Outstanding career, much love from, from us, and, and again, you're somebody that we'll, we'll never totally replace. Have a great retirement, enjoy, don't think about this place too much, and please, please have, a, have good health. Thank you. Hi Beth, I just wanted to tell you how much I respect you as an educator, not only as a colleague, but as a parent. I can't imagine a better school to have sent my children to, and I so appreciate you taking care of them. It's been like a second home to our family, and thank you for being a part of our lives. Beth Klein, you know that I love you, and I just wanted you to know that. I wore green and gold today because you and I have been Eagles for so long. I'll never forget the time we all drove the Nanchez Trace down to New Orleans and presented the Arts Conference. You made a difference in my life and you made me a better person. So you know me personally and professionally and I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me and for the kids over these years. And God bless you. The Downings would like to say congratulations, congratulations and, and thank, thank you, you for being, being a wonderful, wonderful principal. principal. Enjoy your retirement. Hi Beth, this is my good well speech to you. I'll never forget the first time I met you. You were so kind, uh, best A team member. Uh, that I can ever remember. You made me feel welcome. You made me feel like being a grandma for the first time was the best thing that ever happened, and you were right. I love you. I miss you. Stay just the way you are and keep Jerry happy. Love you. Bye. 